Hey. All right, we are back with another video with the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K versus the 4K. This is a similar test. The only thing that's really different is that there's no speed booster in front of the 4K. It's gonna be the cameras in their true form, no mumbo jumbo, just the way we like it. There were some comments in my last video saying that I should do this test again, but without the speed booster because that could be causing some of the softness in the 4K. So that's what I did and you were right. I mean, I don't know if you're right about the softness, but you're right that I should do the test again. And uh, we did it. I'm sorry this took so long to finally come out. Last week at the studio was super, super busy and I was acting in a Netflix show. So you're gonna have to forgive me a little bit, okay? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the video side by side, throw some music on there, and I'm just gonna say what I think if there's something to say. Let's do it. I did the well lit test with some different colors because I like colors, okay? And it's kind of cool to see in the camera, so don't judge me. Also, it's important to see how the cameras work in a different color space. So, you can quit yelling at me. Stop. I'm just loving this lighting. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> I'm just loving this lighting. It just looks so cool. I don't know. At their native ISOs, you can tell they're pretty similar, nothing too drastic. I want your guys' opinion in the highlight roll off. My brain is telling me that the 6K is better at the highlight roll off because I'm biased, probably, um, since I bought it. But you tell me what you think. Hopefully this all uploaded in 4K.
In the low light ISO test, you can see the Blackmagic 6K shine a little bit more here. The noise, to me personally, is a little bit more pleasing and um, I think a little easier to clean up and post. Obviously still not usable the way it is, unless you know you really like that shitty look. Okay. Here's an extreme low light ISO test. The only light I have is the small lamp and it's actually really, really, really dim. When doing this, I noticed that the lamp in the 4K was more exposed. Those highlights were, you know, just blowing out a little bit more than the 6K. But in the 6K, her face was a little bit brighter. So to me, that shows that the 6K has better dynamic range. It's boosting up the shadows a little bit and crushing those highlights down a little bit, retaining more information, both the highlights and the shadows. So, eh, better dynamic range. Booyah. Ha. Ha. I totally think the noise is better in the 6K. I think so. I think it is. I think it is. All right, guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope that helped you a little bit more in your decision whether to buy the 4K or the 6K. Since we didn't put a speed booster on the 4K, I'm sure that maybe made it a little bit sharper, um, but you saw. So in the next video, I'm going to be shooting the Blackmagic 6K with this awesome vintage lens that I just had lying around as decoration at the studio. It's a Canon 28 millimeter FD lens vintage lens. I just picked it up, decided to slap it on, and it looks really cool. Uh, the bokeh looks awesome and just has a ton of character, and I really want to show it to you guys and just mess around and upload some clips. So stay tuned for that. I may do a video on my rig for the 6K as well. Um, this is just part of the rig. If, if you want to see the, my whole shoulder rig and rail system, just let me know and I'll do a video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like these, 
And you know, leave a comment down below telling me what you thought of the two cameras. I really like to interact with you guys. If you didn't like it, tell me why. Bye.